plasma, o quarto estado da matéria. Ele representa mais do que 99% da matéria total no universo. A fusão termonuclear de átomos leves é o processo energético que alimenta as estrelas. No interior do Sol, ocorre a fusão de núcleos de hidrogênio à temperatura de 15 milhões de graus. A essa temperatura tão elevada só pode existir o estado de plasma. Na Terra, físicos e engenheiros estão envolvidos em grandes experiências onde são produzidos plasmas muito quentes com o objetivo de criar estrelas artificiais, as quais serão a fonte de energia ilimitada a ser utilizada para acionar um novo tipo de central elétrica, as centrais elétricas de fusão. More importantly, on average, we will be using a lot more energy in the world than we do today. Energy consumption will probably be about two times higher by the middle of the century, with an even stronger increase in electricity consumption. To meet the future demand, combustion of fossil fuels may well be used increasingly, with, as we already know, dramatic consequences on the climate due to emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. As this table shows, oil, gas and coal are the most commonly used sources of energy at present. Under these circumstances, developing and improving new, sustainable and renewable sources of energy is therefore crucial for the future. Fifty years ago, nuclear fission power plants were developed which presently contribute about 35% to European electricity production. Today, solutions for the waste issue of nuclear fission are being investigated and new and renewable energy sources are being developed. All sources of energy for the third millennium must take account of environmental requirements, operational safety and availability of resources. All European member states and countries associated with the Euratom fusion program are well aware of this. Indeed, Europe has become the world leader in research on a new sustainable source of environmentally benign energy that does not emit any greenhouse gases. The heat and light we receive on Earth originate from these fusion reactions. Part of the energy produced remains inside the sun and generates a temperature of 10 million degrees Celsius. This very high temperature, coupled with the gravitational forces and the density of the sun, causes fusion. Under these conditions, hydrogen atoms become separated into their fundamental components, electrons and nuclei, which are then independent of each other and form a new state of matter called plasma. Finally, the nuclei fuse, producing helium and giving off energy. Today, scientists can reproduce this process on Earth. Now let's have a look at a concrete example. Europe, the world leader in this field, has already undertaken several research and development projects dealing with fusion. Among these, the JET project for Joint European Taurus, which is the largest tokamak experiment in the world. It was constructed between 1978 and 1983 in Cullum, United Kingdom. Since then, its exploitation was and still is focused on understanding and developing powerful high-performance fusion plasmas as the further step towards fusion power. In 1991, JET was the first project in the world to achieve a significant amount of controlled fusion power, 2 megawatts, with deuterium and tritium. This result was an important event because it has shown that fusion energy could be produced on Earth. JET has increased this power to 16 megawatts, a world record still unbeaten today. This result paves the way for a larger experimental project like ITER. There were also two very important byproducts. On the one hand, safe tritium handling, and on the other, successful remote maintenance of the tokamak. It is the road to fusion energy, a unique project embracing the European Union, Russia, Japan, the Republic of Korea, China, the United States. And India. Now a consensus has been reached at international level and the final choice for the construction site is Cadarache, France. The objective of ITER will be to prove scientifically and technologically that fusion can be tamed as a source of energy. ...implemented over about 35 years, including the construction, exploitation and deactivation of the facility.
The construction of ITER in Kadarash, which will last about 10 years, is planned to start before the end of 2005. Following ITER construction, scientists and engineers from all over the world will commence the exploitation of the experiment, including tests related to the large-scale production of energy by means of fusion. Instituto Superior Tecnico, IST, is the Portuguese partner of Euratom and of the European Fusion Development Agreement. Centro de Fusão Nuclear, CFN, is the research unit of IST responsible for carrying out the activities in physics, engineering and technology related to nuclear fusion in collaboration with other research units. The projects developed in the area of physics and engineering of magnetically confined fusion plasmas are related to the operation of the Portuguese Tokamak ISTOC, the participation in the programs of many European fusion devices including JET, the collaboration in the project of the first experimental fusion reactor ITER. Expertise has been developed in the areas of diagnostics, control and data acquisition and in the theory and modelling of fusion plasmas. The ISTOC program includes the study of the edge plasma physics, the analysis of the influence of external signals in the confinement and stability of the plasma, the operation in alternating plasma current regimes, and the development of new diagnostics, namely the heavy iron beam analyzer. One of the areas of expertise of CFN is control and data acquisition. In fact, following the work done for the Tokamak ISTOC, CFN has developed digital instrumentation for transient recording, waveform generation and timing to the standards VME, CAMAC and PCI, intelligent units for real-time feedback control to be integrated in TCV, and control and data acquisition systems for JET and other European fusion devices. Another area of expertise is microwave reflectometry, a diagnostics technique based on the application of the radar principle to fusion plasmas. In the past 15 years, CFN has developed reflectometers for several European machines. At ASDEX Upgrade, a set of 13 antennas inside the vessel enables the measurement of density profiles and fluctuations, both at the high field and low field sides of the plasma torus. In the area of theory and modeling, it is important to refer to the studies on transport and turbulence, MHD activity, disruptions, and non-inductive current drive. Six billion years. A glowing ball made of hydrogen and helium. The star's power plant is located in its interior. Here, temperatures of 15 million degrees prevail. The hydrogen atoms are composed of nuclei and electrons. This state of matter is called plasma. Hydrogen nuclei fuse with one another. Helium nuclei are produced. And a great deal of energy. Since the end of the 1940s, scientists in many countries have been trying to clarify the properties of plasma. However, good experimental results were rare. It was not till the end of the 60s that Russian scientists announced astonishing successes with their so-called Tokamak device. Worldwide Tokamak fever erupted. But after 10 years, the best results were still a factor of 25,000 below the requirements of a fusion power plant. But then the large joint European experiment, JET, went into operation in the United Kingdom. In 1997, the scientists there obtained results just a factor of six short of the ignition conditions of a plasma. The sun's fire came within reach for the first time. In 2007, in Cadarache in southern France, construction of the largest experiment in the history of fusion research began. Besides Europe, Russia, Japan and the USA, the project also included China, India and South Korea. The test reactor aimed at demonstrating that it is physically and technically possible to gain energy from fusion. In ITER, the essential fusion power plant technologies were deployed for the first time. 